A leading Sudanese politician was arrested on Thursday as protests against a military coup raged for a seventh month. Tear gas filled the streets in the capital Khartoum as demonstrators marched amid a heavy security deployment. Protester Fatih said the oppression is irresponsible and not right. The Sudanese people are in charge of their nationalist agenda and will resist even if half of us died. Major protests like this, organised by so-called resistance committees, have been held since the October 25th coup. Sudan's military says the takeover was a necessary corrective measure. Resistance Committee spokesman Ahmed Esmat said they had been met with tear gas, rubber bullets and sound bombs, and in some cases, live ammunition. He added that security forces were attacking protests at meeting points before they had started to move. What he described as going back to the old tactics used by former President Omar al-Bashir. October's coup effectively ended a power-sharing agreement between the generals who ousted Bashir and the political parties that opposed him. On Thursday, one of those parties, the Sudanese Communist Party, said its leader, Mohamed Mukhtar al-Khatib, was arrested. The party, which has been the most hardline against the coup, said the detention followed al-Khatib's visit to South Sudan's capital, Juba, where he met with leading Sudanese rebels.